all right what's up y'all it's 202 wink and i just want to come in here with another little short video talking about pretty much and i got my little book shout out to the women's brunch that i went to they gave us these uh or she gave us these books and pens so i'm able to write things down when i need to and all that but um i told her i was gonna do this the other day she made a um a morning message or whatever you want to call it uh talking and she has some good key points about going where you're loved where you're appreciated and things like that and i just want y'all to hear uh hear what she had to say and i'm gonna like comment on it and stuff too as well as she uh coming with a youtube and all that too so this is just like a, a little pre jump so when she come out on youtube you know y'all probably gonna be like damn is this the girl we was talking about she liked that, y'all. Shout out to her. Shout out to all the boss women, all the independent women and everything like that. So I'm going to let y'all hear what she got to say. And uh, I would show it, but um, I asked could I do this already. But uh, I ain't asked to show it. You know how people be. Uh, so I just let y'all hear the audio. Let's get to it. I'm also uploading videos as I go. Like I said, I just did my first interview today, so. Good morning. I'm getting ready to start my morning talk on and go where you're appreciated, go where you're valued. Um, I woke up for the next, for the past two days, waking up feeling like appreciated it's time to step value. out on faith and into my purpose. Um, yes, and I know everybody that attended my event is feeling the same way. Like, mm -hmm. it's time to step out on faith and into my purpose now. I really just wanted to get on here and start with some morning motivation for everybody to just really go with another that. Like, go where you're appreciated. Fuck with the people that fuck with you and the people that don't fuck with you. It's cool. Like, there's no love laws accepting. Accepting that just because you love somebody a certain way don't mean that they have to love you back or fuck with you back in that same way. That's why acceptance is key. And just Hold up. I want to say something about that. Yeah, they don't got to love you back in that same way. But if once I see that you're not fucking with me the way I fuck with you, I'm not going to continue to fuck with you that way. Like, I'm not about to be pouring into you and then you can't even pour into me. Why? That's weird. Go ahead, though, girl. General, like, I had... It's so crazy. God be giving me all these revelations. But, um... Shout out to you, Iman. And I don't ever speak to anything that I don't go through and grow through personally and that God has put on my heart to talk about. But yes, go where you're appreciated. If you don't, you miss out. And number two, if you do, it'll just continue to grow. Maybe not in a way that you intended it to with the people you intended it to, but life, universe, God, they don't make no mistakes. So just continue to trust. Trust in you need to be with the people that you are um, meant to go there with, or meant to be with, meant to be connected with. Like she said, you got to fuck with the people that fuck with you. Um, no point in trying to look out and... I mean, it's good to be a good person, but how long you want to be a good person and they're not being good to you? You know what I'm saying? Uh, we can go down even into like little shit like Instagram and shit. Yeah, I've had people who uh, who want me to repost they this and, 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 and comment and do this and that and they never do it for me. Or oh, I got to ask you to do it for me. And then when I do, you, like, make it as plain as possible. And when I say plain, I mean, like, okay, let's say it's a rapper. Okay, I'm going to repost your song, and I'm going to tell people to, you know, go stream it, and I'm going to post the link, too. So I'm assuming that when it's my turn, when I tell you, to like, hey, you know, re do the same for me, here go my new video, I'm expecting you to say, go watch new video, go watch her new video, whatever, whatever, with the link or something, not just uh literally reposting the thumbnail. You know what I'm saying? What else you got to say, girl? To me, March was so good to me. March owes me nothing. Um, saying the spirit literally this month of March, I had like 
entered in operating in the spirit. I will, I've always been operating in the spirit, but now I'm a little bit more conscious about operating in the spirit. It's different from, it's like I left the flesh into the spirit and maybe like solely is, I'll say solely or like fully. Um, it's no one foot in, one foot out. Like I truly understand. Sometimes I still do make my mistakes. I feel like saying that I'm only human is an excuse because of the of the real work that I know that I could put in, which I've done. So I feel like saying that I'm human is an excuse. Um, I'm not a robot or nothing like that. It's just that, like the small things like emotions. Yes, we have to feel them, but if they're minute and they don't make a difference to who you are or where you're going. I don't think that it's that necessary to give that energy to them. You got to change the, tra the trajectory of how we deal with stuff that makes us mad or gets us irritated. Um, that's just what I know. But yesterday I was really, I wanted to get on here and talk about it because yesterday I was really struggling, not struggling, but I was having a moment with, um, phenomenal month i had a great month of march i had a great event and it was just still like certain people i won't even it wasn't that nobody did show up but like expecting to hear from a certain person that's why you should never have expectations but it's just like i can't be mad for not hearing from this person or hearing from these people when i just did shit god we just did shit so it's just like what is the like worrying about that's like i'm that's we're not, I'm not focused on the bigger picture. If I'm worried about somebody that didn't show up when all these great things went on and I made all these connections with all these new beautiful women. Yep, and that's true too. She definitely right. I be trying to uh, focus on, I be trying to do that same thing. Even though I celebrate all the big wins and the little wins, but I'm definitely, uh, I definitely understand where she's coming from. Um, yeah, this is about to be like a whole little reaction video or something. I'm just letting y'all hear what she had to say. And uh, I'm making my little comments, but I'm also still listening, too, because I don't think I got to hear this whole thing. It doesn't work like that. So with that, acceptance is key. And acceptance doesn't always have to be something that's bad. Like, or it don't have to be that. It's literally just accepting that this is not for you and it's saving you mm -hmm. from Lord knows what, because only God knows. So redirection is God's protection. And that's just that on that. So even with that, I have to learn to be, um, when I go through stuff and I don't understand it, I just turn it into gratitude instead of getting mad now because it's just like, God, I'm exhausting this energy. I don't even need to be doing that. It's probably more important things I could be worried about. So now I just get grateful. Like, okay, like, dear God, I don't understand what you're doing for me, but thank you for allowing me to at least know this person or have been blessed with this person's presence, whatever work that you Coming, so, y'all. God just want to keep seeing more and more of my face, more and more and more and more and more, more, more of my face. And there's so many things that I can sit right here and that could hold me back from getting right here in front of this camera. And gratitude is the attitude. Yes. It's so many things that could discourage me from getting on this camera right here like this and post it and running out. But I push through those things every day just because of what I want to be and who I want to be. And that's really all it's about. Pushing through because. You have goals for yourself, and it's fun with everybody else around you. Says that's why I be in my bubble. Um, I listen to things, I take things in, but if it's not for me, I let that shit fly. Because a lot of people, when you got a lot of great things going on, a lot of people want to be connected to what you got going on. Um, they want to connect to you and hope yep. to get to connected to what you got going on. And yep. also, proximity is power. All company is not good company. All money is not good money. Mm -hmm. So. I say that all That's the time. We gotta be discerning. We have to pray for discernment. Keep praying for discernment in every season of your life and every person that you meet and every place that you go. Pray for discernment because 
Good one, girl. Free game. <laughs> real life. Free game. For real. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's man, I had my little notes and stuff, but I spoke as, uh, as she was talking, so I don't even really need to say nothing. But, but yeah, like, she right as a mug on it. Like, even with the nine to five thing, like, yeah, I love my job to death. I cried when I got that job. But if I can be a YouTuber full time and make my money and go on and inspire people and have businesses, and warehouses, create, creative warehouses and stuff like that. That's what I would like to do. Because I always, hey, let me say this real quick too. Because I'm going to make another video on it too. Who came up with this eight hour crap? You work eight hours. You sleep eight hours. And, and then you allow, you know, you're doing whatever you want God to do for the eight hours. It's only 24 hours in a day, young. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't do but so much. Like, why can't we work? Why can't we work for like four hours a day? Five hours. At least five. Give us the other three back. Damn. By the time you done the day over, don't let it be one at a time. By 5.30, it's dark. So, yeah, man. Shout out to uh, Imani, man. Uh, her YouTube channel coming. Um, Whenever she posts it, I tell y'all, too. Then and there, for real. Because, like you said, or like she said, like, things, like, certain things are just meant to be. Like, what's the odds that I met her, uh... I almost forget how we met sometimes. I don't know if it was online first. I know I, I met her in, in person after I already had talked to her online. So, yeah, like, and she is a networking beast. Not funny. I know she had to see me first because my back was turned. But she saw me and she came right up to me. And then, you know, we was talking and everything networked. I went to her event. That's not something. That's not a coincidence. Certain things are supposed to happen for certain reasons. You are supposed to meet certain people. I swear I was just talking about that in the podcast. Shout out to Reek for real. What's the odds that his cousin is somebody that I pretty much grew up with as a kid? Hold up. That I pretty much grew up with as a kid and then Reek birthday is the same as my sister's? Or or how about my be one of my best friends? Shout out to Juwan. How about uh his aunt live on the on the street up on the next street from my grandmother house? That we both been going over there for life for life. You know what I'm saying? And then I come meet him in high school and then you know what I'm saying? Like I'm definitely, this is definitely what I'm supposed to be doing, what I'm supposed to do. Like she said, man, you got to understand life and then finesse it. So this is a 14-minute video that's crazy. Like, comment, subscribe, share. She coming soon with her stuff, and uh, I can't wait for that. And peace and blessings to everybody, man. It's Sunday. It's Palm Sunday to be exact. So like, comment, subscribe, share. I'm gone.